Welcome back to another episode of Toon Talk TV, the top animated podcast on YouTube. If you're new to the channel, be sure and like, follow, and subscribe. Check out the Patreon page, patreon.com slash we are the television. Uh, guys, we got, uh, I'm very excited for today's episode. We got a little special treat for you viewers. Bob, take it away. Today, we are not talking about cartoons. Today, we are the Dune cast. Dune cast. Can we do that, baby? Dune talk TV, I guess, you know? Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. The Lissam Al Gaib mouse has arrived. No, 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 no. He has arrived. Because I was kind of thinking I was the Kwisatz Sadarak. No, no. And Fred is my Stilgar. Fred is my Stilgar. I am not the (laughs) Stilgar. Kind of still got Bob, what do, you, what do you have in store for us today? We're going to talk about Dune 1, we're going to talk about Dune 2, and we're just going to talk about the Dooniverse. Have you guys, okay. have you guys, uh, where, have you guys read? Where are you at in the reading of the books? Currently reading Children of Dune. Is that, that's the third, right? Yes, yeah. Mick? I am also a quarter of the way through Children of Dune as well. So at least in the movieverse, both Fred and I are caught up with entire dune and dune yeah Messiah. you know what well well don't really have to worry about we're gonna design. cap yeah, it yeah. there then not talk about anything past that because yeah, you know yeah. what it's it it's a lot they they it, if i yeah. i've never read a story where they get even with this insane with the lore and the the uh and just the universe around it i feel like this beats Game of Thrones. This beats Lord of the Rings. It's Star Wars. I feel like it, it, it goes deep. It goes. It goes like centuries and centuries of of uh, of bloodline and new uh, types of characters like Benny Gesserit and Atreides and and uh, and and Gulas and I mean it, it just it goes on and on with um, with the lore. A lot of those those shows you just named. Oh. Their creation to Frank Herbert in Dune. They do. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So that is funny. A lot yeah. there. I, I did hear someone say when talking about Dune, oh, it's kind of a Star Wars ripoff. <laughs> and that's ridiculous because that is <laughs> Dune was first. Sucks, Dune was yeah. first. I just <laughs> don't think <Yeah. laughs> they had the capability to really put it in into a movie um until now. I feel like this is. Well, they yeah. did. They made yeah, a movie. D- David Lynch's it movie just, was. It wasn't to the. Ex- it was good. I think it, it wasn't to the extent of Star Wars, and I think Star Wars just uh, blew it out of the water in terms of like cinematic like value. And then, but if if you really compare the stories, it's kind of uh, jarring how much of a ripoff, or how many points that he took from yeah. dune or was he just inspired I agree. like i feel like that's no dude there was a lot of fucking things taken like like to the point where it's like dude that's he just changed the name of yeah. what they do <laughs> yeah okay yeah. but i think i think when it when in terms of movies star wars kind of just ran and did you know most of their stuff is set pieces when they show space it's just a little glimpse of space the rest of it's like a like a airplane hangar teched up future tech whereas dune you gotta film a sand planet you gotta film a sandworm it's a lot bigger in scope to be able to do that in 1984 absolutely with the technology that they had in 1984 so that's hard to sell like to to a viewer i guess um and you want to do it right you want to give um homage to an amazing story you don't want to be that guy that fucked up that great story on on, in cinema um so I thought part two and part one were fantastic. Uh, I, I, I think part of it was because I, I knew part one was exactly that. It was a ha- it was half of a story. I was, I was pleased with it and I was okay because I knew that part two was going to be awesome. Well, how do you guys feel? Uh, if you were going to talk, compare it to the book, I think the movies are fan- like brilliant. I think they're fantastic. They're uh, if you're a fan of the book, you'll definitely be a fan of the movie where I think they kind of screwed up a little bit in it was part one. Uh, it's j- the idea of making a movie part one of a single book. If you've never read Dune, 
a lot of people who I know didn't read Dune kind of hated that movie. It was just unsatisfying. Yeah, it which which I understand because if if you're writing a story, there's arcs, and if you get to the point where the arc is just starting and then cut it off, it's not very satisfying. Which is kind of what Dune One did. Part one did. I first of all, I agree with everything you just said, and but I also try to think of, think of the alternative. With the alternative, you get that. Uh, I think it was nineteen eighty four, uh, David Lynch's Dune, and you you get that full movie in one, and it just felt, it just felt Bloated. like a little much, a little yeah. much to to take in in one movie. I still think it was good. It's just. Long-winded is a good good word too. I just feel like it's a lot going on for for a movie. Seriously though, I think if I I know this is crazy and it probably wouldn't work, but both of those together are a, an amazing movie. If they made a 6-hour long movie, which I know probably wouldn't fly, but if they did, it would be fucking Mick would, awesome. Mick would be there, dude. I'd watch God. it. <laughs> you know, people would be there and that's gross. That's no one needs to be sitting in a <laughs> oh, the theater dude, for that. Long. I would love it. I, I would I, love I, it. Gross. I think back to your point Fred of them splitting uh ending part 1 where they did. You also run the risk of getting something similar to Avengers Infinity War and then Avengers Endgame. Both those movies were intended to be a part one and a part two, but to appeal to storytelling, the powers that be said, no, we want Infinity War to be its own start to finish. You could watch the opening of that and there's a conclusion at the end. The bad guy wins that movie. Story's done. You could anyone who pops in, start to finish, boom, end of end of movie. You're right, uh, but I think the one difference between that is they made the universe yeah. and with a bunch of movies way pr like before they had a two-part yeah. movie. Uh, a lot of movies have done that. Harry Potter. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the audience is already invested, but these people like walking into the Dune Dooniverse are this is their first time with these actors these characters this world this new world that they made and to make it a part one part two i feel um was cool for the fans of the book yeah. but otherwise it's a it's a kind of a stretch and i'm i'm glad it panned out well because part two was amazing. the hot take for the people who didn't like part one is go read a fucking book go read a oh, book oh yeah. <laughs> yeah oh yeah okay so we went well over our time limit on this one so we're gonna have dune part two the Dune Cast Part 2. Woo! I shall return. The early television. <laughs>